I am making two pieces of furniture from one desk. To get started, I need to take this piece of furniture apart. I'll link some videos below explaining how to do this with a microwave or a heat gun. I'll be using every piece to make the two pieces of furniture, but for now I'm starting with the three drawers to make the nightstand. You can make a few passes with a craft knife to cut these apart, but I'm using my miter shears. There are two larger drawers that are the same size as one another in a small drawer. I'm using one of the larger drawers to make the front of the nightstand. This drawer is pretty crude and rough, so I'm using some sandpaper to gently round the edges. This drawer front looks decent the way it is, but I can cover up the hole in the center and add some detail by adding a small piece of cardstock to the front. You could use cereal box instead if you don't have cardstock. I'm spreading the glue with the piece of cardstock to make sure I get glue on every corner so they don't peel up when I paint it. I'm using stair balusters as the legs because they're really cheap and I love how they look. I'm using the lines on my cutting mat as a guide for assembling the table. I lined up the baluster in this 90 degree corner and I'm adding the drawer leaving a really small gap at the top. I'm cutting this drawer in half to make the two sides. Here's a really easy way to find the center point of something without having to measure. I cut a scrap piece of paper a bit longer than the drawer and then cut it to the correct length. I'm lining up the two ends and folding it in half. The folded line is directly in the center. This drawer turned side pieces has a nice side and an ugly side. I'm assembling the sides with the ugly side facing in. Since the front already has a leg, each side piece is getting one baluster. I'm making the right side as a mirror image. I attached both side pieces leaving a small gap at the top. I'm using the third drawer as the back of the table. While the glue is still wet, I'm adjusting the legs to make them more square. If you look closely, you'll see the back right leg is sticking out a little bit. I accidentally let it dry that way so the table isn't quite square, so make sure you pay attention. This little table has come together very quickly from just three drawers and four balusters. To make it stronger, I'm adding some popsicle stick pieces inside. I'm using the bottom from the original table as the top for my nightstand. It would look really awkward if the top was the same size as the base, so I'm leaving some overhang on the front and the sides, but not on the back. Whenever my miter shears have a hard time cutting through a piece of wood, I cut from both directions until the blade goes through. This is really cheaply made plywood, so I'm using some glue to reattach the veneer that's coming off. I'm using a cheap clip from the Dollar Tree to hold it while the glue sets, but you can also use tape. Just like I did with the drawer front, I'm rounding the edges and adding cardstock to the top for more detail. Before the glue dries, I adjust the cardstock. You can see how the drawer looks more realistic because I left a gap. To cover the underside, I traced the top onto some cardstock. The legs will be in the way, so I can't just glue a rectangle to the bottom, so I'm marking all the places the legs are and cutting them out. This very imprecise method worked so well, I didn't even need to make any adjustments. This piece not only covers the bottom, but adds a little bit of detail under the drawer. I'm making a shelf using a similar method. I'm lining up the end of a 1 inch wide popsicle stick at the shelf height I'm using. I'm making a square at each point I think a leg will be. I'm using my miter shears to cut a tiny nip at each corner against the grain. I'm using a cheap file to sand every corner so they're round. I added the shelf in place without any glue and then pulled each leg away one at a time and added a small dab of glue with a toothpick. 
While that's drying, I'm working on the top. I'm painting each of the pieces separately before attaching them because I want the top to look like a stained piece of wood and the bottom to be painted a different color. The paint really brings out the details and makes the cardstock top look like a routered edge. I only have one bottle of nice paint, so expect to see this color a lot on my channel. When I'm painting turn to details like you see on these balusters, I turn my brush sideways and slap it back and forth. I'm making my own hardware for the drawer using a sequin backed with some paper. I'm putting some thin wire through the hole in the sequin, so I'm also making a hole in the little piece of paper as well. I'm harvesting my thin wire from this twist tie. I'm using the edge of the blade to scrape off the paper or plastic coating. I'm using a jump ring as the drawer pull. I think this size would look really cool on a heavy set of wooden doors, but it's too big for this little table. I can't decide if this size is a little too small or just right, but this will do. I'm attaching the jump ring by pulling out a length of thin wire and folding it over on itself. I squeezed the wires together so they would fit through the hole in the sequin. I don't want the sequin moving around, so I'm gluing it to the paper backing with some white glue. My hole punch is a little bigger than the sequin, so I'm using some scissors to cut off the excess because I don't want any of this showing. The paper backing reinforces this flimsy sequin and makes it easier to glue to the drawer front. You can leave this as it is, but I'd like a more antique gold color. I mixed some matte Mod Podge and yellow ochre to use as a base coat. Then I topped it off with some gold. To attach the hardware more securely, I'm making a small hole in the center of the drawer with a thumbtack. I'm cutting off the extra wire, leaving a small bit to add to the hole. I'll make this hardware again using sewing thread instead of wire. The thread will be more easily accessible and easier to manipulate, and you wouldn't have to make a hole to accommodate it. I finished the top with a coat of sealer. If I was making this again, I would cut off some of the length of the baluster legs from the top and line the drawer up with the bottom here. This little table was made of the three drawers in the bottom, and the next time I'll use the rest of the pieces of the Dollar Tree table to make another piece of furniture. <laughs> 